Now we're going to tie this pattern called Klimpen. Now this is a scut pattern, but uh, I don't know, it doesn't exactly look like a scut, but uh, it fishes very well uh, here in Norway and uh, of course in Denmark and Sweden also. And uh, this is made with seal fur. This one. And I'm using a scud hook from. Uh, you can use. Uh, I like to use two types of scud hooks. I got this from Jensen. This is a scud. This is size 8. This is a size 6. So we can use. This is, you know. It's a nice hook, and you can use this from Musta C49S size 6. This is also nice, but uh, it's a little bit different, not the same shape. But I've used this for many years, and this is this is hooks very nice, and so does this. I'm gonna tie it on this hook now. So, and the thread I'm using is uh, Uni. 6 0, the red one, and a start at the, um, the center of the hook, cut off. And I'm using copper wire from old TVs, they look like this, and it's quite thick. I think this one is about one millimeter or something, it's quite thick. So you see what you can find. I think you can uh, also buy this uh, copper wire. So you just uh, have to um, see what you can get. Get a hold of. So we'll tie in, tie in the copper wire, touching turns, almost touching turns. And when I come to this point, I use my nails, my nail, sorry, and just squeeze it in like that, and follow down all the way. Oh, like that, and go back up. Nice and tight, like that. So, stop there, just right where the hook point and take some wide open turns in the front, like so. And I put on some varnish. And I rip up. With a, about two millimeters in between. Okay. Like that. And um, cut off the wire. The pair of bad scissors. If I can find mine, there they are. And I go back and then I take a couple of turns just there and I take my nail like this and just squeeze it, bend it and make a dubbing loop like this. Take the thread all the way to the front like that. And where is my, there it is, my dubbing twister. Now we're gonna put, take out some seal fur. I use, uh, here I use uh, fluorescent orange. And I'm do, and I go like this, cut the corner, and just by squeezing, the fibers comes out like that. Oh, there we go. And holding like that, pulling the fibers like this, 
about four or five times or something. There. Now we got the full length of the fibers. Putting those directly in the dubbing loop. Like that. And now the same again, it's uh, very important to pull out the fibers in the dubbing loop so you get this quite large and translucent. Okay? And you spin up. Spin, spin, spin. One more time. Now seal fur fibers are quite thick so you need to spin up quite much. And uh, try to use Uni 6O because if you spin too much it will break off here. So it's uh, a good tip to use a quite thick thread, okay? Now we're gonna just brush it a little bit and pull back the fibers now when I'm fishing with this fly I try to use oh I always always use a quite thin leader I use sometimes I use a 12 foot leader if the water is you know crystal clear and everything and just tie off here like that and when the water is uh, you know just a little bit wind you can go down to 9 foot leader and um, um, the tip the tip I use 0.17 sometimes but uh, the most of the time I use 0.21 millimeters because then the fly comes alive if you use too thick it kind of moves a little bit strange in the water but you know you can catch fish on that one too uh, but um, I find if you use a little bit thinner leader it kind of you know, moves much more in the water. Okay, finish off with a whip finish and the Klimpen is ready to go. Like that. Just finish off the head. And this early uh, in the early season, when the water is very cold and low water, often low water at its this time around Easter, um, and crystal clear water, I almost always fish with the uh, scuds. Sometimes in size uh, eight, ten, even twelve. But um, yeah. This is, an, this is a great fly. I have caught a lot of sea trout on it and uh, it's so easy to tie and so efficient. So yeah, there you go. Klimpen. Uh, I'm not going to make an English name for every, every, every fly, but uh, so hmm, there you go. Good luck. Mm -hmm.